this last weekend. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. What yeah, you know? Black on the Block. Black on the Block. Shout out to Naki for letting us know about it. Yeah, shout out to the people who, oh, I don't forgot their name. I think one of them is Shar. Shar is one of them. I, don't, I forgot the other That's one's over name. It? Yeah, she's one of them. Okay. And um, I forgot the other woman's name, but we going to tag them. But Black on the Block was super, super, it super late. It was lit. a great event. It was so many black people. No issues. No issues. It was hot as hell, though. <laughs> they picked the hottest day. Yeah. Like, but it was still good. Um, Ryan was out there working. You know, I'm just trying a little bit. Working and twerking. Yeah. I had the homies come in town to support. Yes, he has amazing friends, y'all. I can't, I can't, I have to shout them out. Y'all, E Hatch, y'all are amazing friends. Y'all flew all the way from Georgia to come out here and support y'all friend. And that is support if I ain't never seen it in my life. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they came and represented it. They, they held you down. Shout out to the guys, Dev too. Dev be doing that too. Yeah, Dev Mike. definitely. Mike, uh huh. Yeah, but uh, those my guys, man. I remember you sent that text about not taking friends for granted. That's why I love them because it's like you know we don't find friends like that often. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're never. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we don't find friends like that often. And um. Yeah, I appreciate them, man. They're my guys. Like, the one thing I can say is, like, like you said, nobody complained. Mm -hmm. Nobody was jealous because, like, he was doing his clothing thing. Yes. And we was like, yeah. yeah, take this picture. Like, oh, this is where you can find him at. Mm -hmm. And I was doing my thing, and they was helping me out with stuff. And everybody showed each other love. We was all working together. It was a great networking event. Yeah, we partied. We did business stuff. But just the overall event, it was just, like, nobody fought. Nobody was arguing. It wasn't ratchet. No. Everybody, uh, like, everybody was vibing. Everybody was trying to figure out, oh, what's this? What's this? What's yeah. this? How can we connect? It was a good conversation. It was just a great vibe. Like, Ella Beasy showed up, walked through. Yeah. Walked through. Yeah, took yeah, some yeah. Pictures. Yeah. He was cool. He was vibey. Yeah. So it was a, it was a good little time. You know, uh, people used, I'm going to say men use their, uh, their businesses to network <laughs> with me. <laughs> And then let me tell y'all, Ryan and his friends would see me, and I'd be looking like, save me. And they just leave me. Mm -mm. They just left me. We got to do. Y'all be throwing me to the wolves, bruh. Hey, and then I care, and then laugh about it later. Like, hey. who, was that, who, who was that dude you was talking to? Like, nigga, forget y'all, because y'all didn't care about me. Y'all left me out there. We all got to save ourselves. <laughs> That's how that was. Um, did you have anybody that was interesting that you interviewed at Black on the Block? That was interesting? Yeah, like, that you was like, oh, they, that was a funny answer. The guy that you bought me, oh yeah, he was good. Okay. He was he was funny. It was everybody was pretty like it was only like one, maybe two people who wasn't. Eh, but if, yeah, but for the most part, everybody was receptive to it. Like they was cool. Like because you know, everybody was kind of lit too. Mm -hmm. Uh, so everybody was cool. Like it was only one group that was super shy. They was like, I don't want to answer this question. Niggas being too cool. Okay, I don't want to do this. But everybody was was vibing. Uh, yeah, they had a little more lick out the. Yeah. People would be real vibey. Yeah. Had a little bit more liquor. Yeah. But uh, next year, I hope, whenever they do it again, I hope that they uh, it's going to be even better. I already right. know that. Yeah. Right. So, Black on the Block, it wasn't a goal of yours at the start of the year. No. But it became one once you learned about it, what it was, the mm -hmm. type of people that were going to be there, and it became a opportunity for you to mm -hmm. showcase, you know, what you have going on. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other goals for the rest of the year? With the game? Just in general. Oh, for the... No, me. I'm always Thank cooking you. a pot. Um, you know, I still got the other book coming out. I'm strategically strategically hey, doing I that. About that. Yeah, I'm strategically. I came up with the name already. I won't okay. say yet. Um, I'm just trying to do the the game to. I'm just trying to make sure that I take the game to another level at some point. But just keep doing street interviews, going to events, but also networking. Mm -hmm. Um, also let them know about the podcast. Um, I want to do. Like events, like like Black on the Block was an event, but yeah. I also want to showcase the event. So I just don't want to make it about me, mm -hmm. but I also want to showcase the event. Um, yeah, you've been tapping into your little uh, videography, photography skills. You know, you a little bit. Dabble. And just networking. You know me, I'm not a big people, like, I'm not a networker. Bro. I've never been a networker, though. Me, Ian Hatch, was sitting there the whole time like, how is this nigga doing this? Like, how is this nigga doing this? But I'm faking it though. No, I'm. I, Are I can, you? No, listen, bro. Like, okay, you know my extroverted side, but I'm yeah. only around that. way. I'm only with like that with y'all or people I'm comfortable with. If you ever notice when you like when we used to go back, we used to go out back then. When I used to be around your friends, I used to be by myself. I never like talked to them like that. Right, right, right. So it's just I kind of fake it a little bit. I'm naturally, I can naturally do it, but I fake it though. That's not yeah. something like I naturally like want to be in people's face. I think your way of talking is like joking. 
Yeah, they, yeah, they for say, sure. They say, like, little jokes or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, because I'm like, I could do a lot of things, but just walking up to people, asking them to come talk to me, that's not one thing I'm I'm versed in. So, you you got, you got definitely got me beat on that. Too sad. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and then traveling, too, you know, I got the free, free flight, so we going to be in Houston. You coming? I can't. It's my daddy's birthday week. However, tell daddy to come. Daddy be out there too. I know. Daddy be at the pool party. You see them Houston pool parties? They over there eating. I know. Pool parties. What was it? What's it called? Uh, what was it? What was the name of it? I googled it. What the? uh, What they call it? I don't know. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. The Freak Nick Pool Party. Basically, that's basically what it was. I had to keep rewatching it on Twitter. I'm like, go in, shorty. Hey, we go be out there. I hope I see that. I hope I see that so I can record that on camera. Record, you supposed to just enjoy the moment. No, I want to see that. <laughs> so I could go up to him and be like, So, how was that? <laughs> Ma'am, how did it feel? I don't oh know. my god, no, nah, but I wanted to go. I would have been out there next time. Going ass. Yeah, next time, we we we've we been talking, we throwing events that they having a <clears throat> shout out to the guys, they having like a little freak, a freak neek in Augusta, Georgia. I know that's not noble, but they're trying to make Augusta a little bit bigger. Yeah, they having a freak neek with some artists, some pretty. Mm-hmm. No artists out there, and they coming from Atlanta too. Mm-hmm. So if you wanna pop out there for a day, I'm not trying to be in the freak league. So so why you do that? Hell. You always got a song in your head. I know that's my problem. Blame it on my ADHD. Okay, 